As the calendar creeps closer to the holidays, now is the time to give back to those in need this season. Families in our area are feeling some extra strain after Helene and our live anchor Katie Inman is at the Walmart in Maryville with how you can spread some cheer to children this week. Katie. Hey, Brittany, the time is ticking to donate to our Hope for the Holidays toy drive. Tomorrow is the last day to get those new toys and get them into these bins in Walmart stores in our area. And I'm here again with Debbie Knuckles, the president of the FBI Knoxville Citizens Academy Alumni Association. I've got that down now. And uh, Debbie, in these final days of this toy drive, number one, we have seen a lot of donations come in at the Walmart stores we've been at. But also, what do you want people to know as we creep closer to Friday? Well, I hope that everyone realizes that this drive is for three of the hardest hit counties in Upper East Tennessee that were devastated by the flooding. That's Green, Unicoi, and Cock County. And we want to be sure that we have enough toys collected to have something for all of the children in that area. On top of all of the other hardships they've had to go through, we don't want this to be the Christmas that Santa didn't come. So I encourage everyone, if you haven't already come out and donated something at a Walmart store, please, please do so today or tomorrow, since tomorrow is the last day. We really need your help. And Debbie, you were telling me whenever you first got here, you said I checked out your guys' article online to get some ideas for toys, and uh, you were surprised by all the things on there. I was, and what I like is it's broken down by age groups. For those of us who don't know what little kids like anymore, <laughs> it's broken down by age groups, and there's there's lots of different uh, ideas of, of things that would be appropriate for each age group. And I found some very interesting things, especially for some of the older kids, that some makeup kits and, and uh, iPad uh, chargers and earphones and things like that. So there's a lot of small things, but great list that anyone can use. In fact, when we're done with this, I'm going to use it and go buy my, my gifts to give away too. Yes, this works as a one-stop shop. So we're going to make sure that these bins get filled. Many Walmarts that we've been at this week have said that these bins will get filled up and then they'll have to take bins of those donations to the back because they want to make sure that people can keep filling up these bins in different Walmart locations. But I'm going to go ahead and send things back to you all in the studio. Man, it is amazing what East Tennessee can do whenever we all come together to support a cause like this. Isn't that the truth? All right. Thanks so much, Katie.